Many musicians know that if they do something else with their instrument, it will change the character of their instrument, and that's basically changing the harmonics. So they're doing the physics without necessarily understanding it. As we move into higher harmonics on a piano keys, the frequency progressively gets higher, resulting in a smaller wavelength. In this video, we will discuss the physics behind piano. When a string vibrates, it does so with the ends fixed to the instrument. This means that it can only vibrate in certain waves, sine waves, like a jump rope with one bump or two bump or three or some combination of these bumps. The more bumps, the higher the pitch and the faster the string has to vibrate. In fact, the frequency of the string's vibration is exactly equal to the number of bumps times the string fundamental frequency, that is the frequency of vibrations for a single bump. On the other hand, the wavelength and the speed of the wave are related to the frequency, as frequency is equal to speed of the wave over the wavelength. For the first harmonic, one bump is equal to a half wavelength. A wavelength is twice the bump, so the frequency of the wave would be equal to velocity over two bumps. In piano, the hammer hits the string and causing them to vibrate and produce noise. The faster the string, the more force it exerts to the string, creating a louder noise. The louder the noise, the larger the amplitude of the wave. From very slow to very loud, the velocity of the hammer changes by a factor of almost 100. Amplitude is the maximum extent of vibration or oscillation. Dampers also play a pivotal role in the sound of the piano. When the key is released, the dampers push back on the string, stopping the string from vibrating and decreasing the amplitude of the wave. 